Hey, what's up, guys? Craft Farms here. Welcome back to Edgewater, Saskatchewan. Today we are going to get our planting finished for the season, and we're gonna probably get our rolling finished up today as well, and have our spring field work completely finished. Uh, should be the last episode until harvest time. So we're going to go ahead. We got a few more passes here yet to uh, get finished. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, get this taken back into the farm and uh, get her all cleaned up and put away. And then we'll uh, get this field rolled. And you can see our pea and lentil fields over there coming up nicely. I did have course play do a good majority of this field and then uh, I took over when it got over here to this last bit. So we are uh, gonna go ahead and finish it up. We're gonna just do a little swipe here. That way we can lock onto our line and uh, just go on down. Definitely a good feeling to be uh, just about done with our spring work. And then we'll be able to Fast forward a couple of months and uh, jump right on into some harvest action. Perfect. We are all finished up and we are good to go. So we're going to pull this guy into the yard and we're going to get him uh, cleaned up. get everything put away. So I see it did not grab this little bit. But that's all right. I'm not going to uh, worry about it too terribly much. We'll get it uh, in the fall with the tillage equipment. So we're just going to pull this guy right up here and shut him on down. And uh, we're going to grab our roller here. And we're going to get rolling on this field. Literally, I guess. Alright, let's get moving. Oh, got a little close to that power pole. That's my bad. I think one thing that we may look into doing is, uh, see about maybe leasing a small planter of some sort and uh, do a pass around each of the fields. Uh, kind of get us away from the power lines, the fences just a little bit and then also put a little more space in between some of these fields, mainly like this here north section of field one and uh, then that field 51 there uh, to kind of help out with course play a little bit it would definitely be helpful but uh, we will just have to see if we can uh, 
get that done. More so, I guess we'll just have to kind of remember to do that. Definitely excited to uh, get to harvest and uh, play with these new crops here that we've got. Shouldn't take us too terribly long to uh, roll this field. Even though it is fairly large. But we can uh, cruise pretty well with our uh, roller here, so should hopefully make fairly quick work of this. So now I'm curious on uh, your guys' input uh, for this series. Would you guys like to see, uh, in terms of our equipment, as we um, go forward in this series, uh, if you guys would like to see us run more John Deere equipment, would you like to see more case, uh, or kind of a mixture of the two along with maybe some other brands um, what are your guys's thoughts on that uh, for in terms of equipment and also if you guys would like to see us get into um, some ranch work as well uh, running some beef cattle maybe you guys kind of let me know what you guys think on that. I personally would like to get into some cows. But uh, if more people want to see us kind of stick to the grain side of things, um, I'm okay with that as well. Just kind of up to you guys. You guys are the ones that are uh, watching it, so... Me, personally, I'm a big deer guy. Um, kind of always have been. And the farm I work on is all John Deere, so that's kind of what I spend my time around. And I have, as a, have spent a lot of time around that as a kid as well. When uh, my grandfather was still farming, that's all they had was... John Deere, but I've been around Case as well. So, kind of been around a little of everything, I guess.
but yeah, you guys let me know down below kind of what you uh, would like to see in this series. Definitely do like this setup together. Kind of works together pretty well. So we're going to get this piece over here finished up first. And then we'll move on to the rest of the field. track of where we're at here. Can't hardly see the difference in uh, what's rolled and what's not rolled. I've got this little piece here. We should have one more pass, it looks like. Then we can move on to the rest of our field. Perfect. Get this little piece here, and we'll be done way back in this corner. It would definitely be nice if uh, Giants had made the rolled ground texture a bit different. Just to kind of make it a little easier to tell what you have and have not rolled. I guess it would be easier too if uh, the ground was mulched. Then uh, as you go over it with the roller, it kind of gets rid of all that. But for the times that you have cultivated ground and it's just a nice cultivated field, not mulched or anything, then it kind of makes it difficult. But it is definitely neat that they added... Uh, 
this into the game where you need to roll your fields after planting to uh, make them grow nice. And I believe, I could be wrong on this, so don't quote me, but I think that it kind of helps boost your yields. And like I said, I could be wrong on that, so don't go quoting me on it or nothing, but I believe that that is what I had uh, seen or heard of. That or maybe it is just they don't grow if you don't roll them. I don't know. I could be wrong. But it is a neat thing that they added. I know, like this roller was from, was originally in FS19. And all it did in 19 was fertilize your field. Kind of a cheap and fast way to fertilize. Mainly because it didn't take any fertilizer. It, you just went over your field with it and field was fertilized. It's definitely one of those things that if you're going for a realistic uh, gameplay, it was realistic to run a roller over your field, but not quite to... Uh, fertilize your field but got the job done that's all that really mattered I suppose cool we are just about done with this guy Perfect. A couple more passes and we can get on out of here. And we'll probably just uh, run across the field and uh, take this into the yard the same way we took the drill in. Then we'll get, all, get everything washed up and fixed up and then uh, put away. And we'll be good for the season. Just a tiny little bit that we missed. Perfect. We'll get this guy folded up. And then we're going to get on out of here. Awesome. So we'll get this back to the yard and uh, get everything cleaned up, ready to sit for the year. Well, mainly our drill and uh, this tractor here, but. Or the drill and the roller, I should say. And then I believe our case is going to sit as well, because I think this tractor will probably go on our grain cart this fall. I think it should be powerful enough for it. All right, so let's get to washing here. Uh, 
bring our HUD back up here. Got the drill, and then we'll get the uh, 9380. Forty seven fifty five. We're getting too far for our hose, it says. And then our roller. Perfect. All right, so we're going to get this guy repaired first. So we got 480 to repair it. And then we have $8,010 to repaint. And then 295 to repair and 28,538 dollars to repaint that air seeder or the drill I should say good grief $901 to fix this guy up $13,887 to repaint $27 to repair $4,689 to repaint these prices are absolutely ridiculous that's insane. But that's our uh, maintenance, I guess. Or our maintenance cost, I should say. Now, let's see here. We'll pull this guy right on up over here. Right there will do. So get these hoses unhooked and get that guy drop okay it was sliding there for a second and then we'll get this backed in can't get it back far enough to that'll work all right, now we'll fire this guy up and we'll get this drill out of here. We'll get this unhooked and put away. We definitely need another shed to uh, be able to fit everything that we have. I guess we could have. Uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna move that forty seven fifty five. We're gonna get him out of here. Get him over in front of the ninety three eighty there. That'll kinda sit in there a little bit nicer. There we go. That'll work a little bit better. And then 
we can go ahead and we can close up the shed. And that's going to do it for this spring. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to end the video there. And tomorrow, we'll go ahead and get the combine out, get the cart, the truck, get this grain head, and we will start combining some, uh, probably start with, let's see here, what do we got? Probably start with field 50, which is our peas. We'll start with that field, and then we'll do our lentils after. And then after that, we'll be able to uh, pull the swather out and run through some canola and flax. So, alrighty, everybody. That's going to do her for today. Hope everybody enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you all in the next one.